Hello and welcome back to The Witcher. We are continuing up our chapter 4 with uh, arrival to the local village. It's a little bit early for the village itself, but nonetheless, let's go in, see what we can find here. Somehow I can't forget the maiden on the lake side. Oh, I love weddings. Did the lady of the lake appear to you? She doesn't choose just anyone. An honest woman, I didn't keep her. Greetings! Hello. How can I help the gentleman? Who might you be? Master Handyman, at your service. I handle repairs of all kinds, produce strange and non-standard objects, and I'm a capable creative blacksmith and carpenter. Berenger mentioned you know the legend of Raven. I know nothing about the legend. I'm more interested in technology. That armor was a breakthrough in armor design, made possible by advances in metallurgy and smelting. Very interesting. About the armor. I can tell you about its qualities. Good, but remember I know little about metallurgy or smithery. Three elements remain of Raven's armor. A spalder, a rear brace, and a gauntlet. The highest quality iron ores and state-of-the-art technologies were used in its making, not some useless Timerian smelting pots. The gnomes surpass us technologically by an age. Beneath Mount Carbon, they have blast furnaces and quenching tanks, equipment beyond our reach. Can you tell me about the armor? As you wish. The technologies I mention allow for the production of steel both hard and flexible, essentially indestructible. As I said, only parts of the armor remain. To recreate the entire suit, you must find replacement material and someone to assemble the parts. Any suggestions? Search crypts where great knights were interred. I heard the counts of the Reuter dynasty wore similar armor. Pieces of that should be reforgeable. You're rather versatile. One has to survive, so I offer other services. Besides, I have an expensive hobby. A hobby? My kin and I yearned to build a flying machine. We built several already, but none worked. We had to cover the pilot's medical expenses. I see. Yes? Farewell. I wished to reach the island, but that growling fisherman refused to take me. Have you heard of Gimpy Mary? Turned into a swan by the lady of the lake. I could drink. Glad to see someone tending to the monsters around here. No problem. Though I can't offer you coin, know that I appreciate what you do. Like I said, no problem. Please accept this small token. I use this whetstone to sharpen my scythe, but you may also use it on your sword. I'm sure it'll be useful. Unexpected. Though you live long, I wouldn't care to live longer than my father and grandfather. Terrible nightmare. I dreamt of an underwater city. You'll own oh, for a son as handsome as Alvin. Such a long journey here. I must get such You'll bring Oh, my back aches. Yet no rain clouds threaten. A witcher. An no occupation unworthy of honest men. Stay away from our Rosalcus, witcher. A witcher, right? Yes. Perhaps you can help. My cousin from Vizima lies dying from a venomous monster attack. The medics have no cure. Perhaps you know an antidote? What was the beast? A Garcane. It resembled a man, but with wings like a bat. Any more information? The beast was terrifying. Its head deformed. 
Its jaws, horrific. Sounds like it, Garkane. But Garkanes have no venom. But my cousin truly suffers from poison. Perhaps cadaverin. Yes, I remember. Garkanes often feed on carrion. Oh my. After devouring an infected corpse, the Garkane may have become a carrier. The medic should look into that. I'll let them know. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Thank you. Farewell. Somehow I can't forget the maiden on the lake side. Oh, for a son as handsome as ours. True queen. Mm -hmm. Take a good look, Mr. Witcher. You're not likely to ever see another cow like this, and she is impressive. Look at that glistening coat, her tail, and that udder. Mm -hmm. We plan to mate with a champion bull from Bullsville. Mm. That'll be something. A stock known round the world. No doubt. Ah, uh, our strawberry is so beautiful. Later. Look here, our champion Greetings. Hello. What be your moniker? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Lucky to have two witches visit us. Ha oh, oh. ha! I, Tobias Hoffman, am the village chief. Ha <laughs> ha, yourself. Beastie Beta, what brings you here? Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. Tell me more. About what? I wanted to talk to you about the Vardianoi. Julian's in charge of that business. Business? He fishes treasures from the lake, renovates them, and sends them to markets in Vesiva. Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Pretty disagreeable lot. I thought to give them leftover food. They looked at me so cold, I nearly froze. They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village without worrying about them. I heard there's going to be a wedding. Yes, my dear daughter Alina is marrying a gallant, hard-working, and honest fellow. You know the joy that finding a good lad for your daughter brings? No? Thought not. Fighting is all your kind thinks about. That's not quite true, but... Listen, got any jobs for a witcher? There are more urgent matters. We'll need to discuss that another time. Farewell. Oh, for a son as handsome as
collection of folk tales describing monsters, sorcerers and witchers from a simple man's point of view. Then the fairy said to the witcher, I will tell you what to do. Put on a pair of iron shoes, pick up an iron staff, walk in the iron shoes to the end of the world, pat the ground before you with the staff and sprinkle it with tears. Walk through fire and water, do not stop, do not look back. And when your shoes wear out and when the iron staff shatters, when the wind and the heat dry your eyes so that you cannot shed another tear, then you will have reached the world's end. You will have found what you seek, what you love, perhaps. And so the witch walked through fire and water without looking back. But he took neither the iron shoes nor the staff. He took only his witch's sword. He did not need, he did not heed the words of the fairy and that's a good thing because she was an evil fairy. And some ballads. Autumn's scents have pervaded the air, the wind stole the words from our lips. That's the way it must be, please don't shed those diamonds that run down your cheeks. The poet Dandelion contemplates whether human life is ruled by destiny. Dandelion mentioned the law of surprise when a witcher demands from a man rescued on the road that which he does not expect when he returns home. It turns out to be a child born during the father's absence. Witchers take the unexpected children to their fortresses and train them to be their successors. Then the lion also wonders whether love can bind people with bonds of destiny. In no ballad does he provide a clear answer to the questions posed. A genetic program initiated by Elven Majors, known as Sages, for the purpose of creating an extraordinarily gifted child whose power would exceed their own. According to the prophecy of the elven diviner Ithlin, the child of elder blood will one day save the elves from annihilation. However, the last carrier of Ein Han Ikaer, Lara Doren Ab Sebbe, bonded with a human instead of an elf, thus shattering all plans regarding her offspring. Simple folk fail to differentiate between witches, sorcerers and witchers. Anyone who wields magic is regarded as suspicious and godless, but the better educated and those who dwell in the large cities know to treat mages with due respect. Redania borders Temeria in the north. It is ruled by King Radavid V, also known as Radavid the Stern, son of the murdered King Vizimir. The monarch was 13 when his father was killed, so the royal council assumed power until the prince came of age. After his coronation, Radovid gained notoriety for dealing brutally with anyone who had previously mistreated him or his mother Hedwig. The most important cities in Redania are the capital of Tretagor, the free city of Novigrad, which enjoys far-reaching autonomy, and Oxenfurt, with its famous university. What brings you here? A wonderful aroma. I'm cooking a traditional Temerian sauerkraut stew. Any work for me? If memory serves, a witcher is like a magical warrior. I slay monsters, drowners, kikamores. I'll doubtless need you sometime. Any work? Yes, I'm having terrible trouble with my husband. What happened? That old fool found himself a succubus thinks I can't hear them frolicking at night. I'm to get rid of the succubus. I learned an old folk remedy from my mother. I'll need nine handfuls of glimmering dust from the hair of noon wraiths in the fields. What about payment? I have this herb manual listing local herbs. Bring me dust to scare off the succubus and you'll have the book. I'll take the job. Deal.
You, sir, step here. What is it? I overheard you speaking with my wife. I have an offer for you. Not interested in parting with your charming demoness? My wife exaggerates about the frolicking. As a man, you understand innocent entertainment harms no one. What do you propose? A fork spell will put the succubus to sleep for a while. My wife will calm down and afterwards, I can quietly awake the succubus. What do you need? Nine handfuls of shadow dust from devourers. They appear in the fields at night and are very dangerous. What will I get in exchange? I have red meteorite, which can improve your sword. Or perhaps you'd prefer gold. Say, 500 orins? I'm not interested in what he offers. Sorry, I promised to help your wife. Yes? Farewell. I'll speak plainly. I like what I see and want to get to know you. How nice. I'm no easy lass, though. You understand a gentleman must court a lady, am I right? You are. Now that we know each other better, you should take the initiative and bring me something sweet. A sugar doll sweet as me. Just what I wanted. Let's take our relationship further. Come home with me. Let me thank you. Let's go. I have to confess that this is practically the single reason why I've been keeping the sugar dolls for the whole time I've been playing the game. Because my poor memory somehow managed to preserve the knowledge that closer to the end of the game, I will need a sugar doll. If I want to receive a card, I might not remember anything else, but sugar doll, oh yeah. Elder Blood. It is impossible to accurately trace the genes of Lara Doran. The fates of entire generations are lost to time, their picture further distorted by unclear lineages, bastard children, intentional historical falsification, and a simple lack of records. In many cases, Elder Blood is too thin and has lost its power. Moreover, not every source attributes their magical skills to the presence of Lara's genes. A few in whom the mutation has occurred are marked by extraordinary abilities. 
They are able to travel through time and space and possess certain magical abilities. These talents are, however, wild and uncontrolled, manifesting themselves in times of stress or strong emotions, surprising even their possessors. History knows of travelers flung far in time and space by their own abilities. That is why the Brotherhood of Sorcerers should take special care of source children, rather uh, raise them under its watchful eyes. Yes? Is your sister happy about getting married? She's happy. She has no concern for her younger sister. Elena doesn't deserve happiness. Oh, how I hate that nymphette! Now she's ensnared Julian, a wealthy town merchant, while she wanders about with her nose in the clouds. Don't worry. You'll find a good husband. Better than Julian? Not, woe I suffer for the masses, Adam. <laughs> how pathetic. Or perhaps you mean the hermit? Such are my options. Did you see the engagement ring Julian gave Alina? A diamond larger than a pigeon's egg! Calm yourself. Why take her side? Admit it, she's dazzled you. Oh, how I despise her! She'll not have you. I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. You merely need to give me a nicer ring than the one Julian gave Alina. Well... I tend to collect the cards, that is correct, but uh, uh, I don't want to get involved into this kind of a mess, so... Uh, Farewell. Yeah. Yes? I'd like to talk to you. I'm in no mood. So, did it ever happen to you to like such a situation when a courier, a delivery guy, arrives right when you record the gameplay? Like, there was a baker outside. Did he went inside? Oh, apparently. Oh, shit, it's a bad. Oh, um, they asked five of them, right? The aroma of my fresh bread? You could say that. All my goods contain finest flour and a secret ingredient from a grateful nymph. I need something. How may I help? You know what witches do? Of course. Witches are like sorcerers, but worse. Worse? Yeah. Their balls are wilted. Got one in the family? Ooh, bad luck. Ah, women. How may I help? I've got 20 orans for five loaves of bread. Bread is five orans a loaf, and five loaves will be 25 orans. Bread. Okay. 
Okay. That part is done. A customer. Why so surprised? Rarely do any buy arms in murky waters. I'm no salesman like my father. Your father? My father told me to sell arms. But if no one buys... Oh, but better not to argue with father. Maybe he wanted you busy. Perhaps. I'm to sit quiet and sell to those who want to buy. Buy. Oh, well, actually... A cust Can I sell you something? Hmm. Nothing that they actually want to sell. Well, I'm not using that stuff, right? Yeah. Greetings again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest secret. You haven't changed a bit. I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> In truth, I have changed. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. Why don't you live in the village? Witches live outside villages, as they always have. You must accept that. Abigail, remember the cave? The past is past, nothing more. Okay, yeah, I can sell her hide and some things. And uh, field plants and swamp monsters. Not, nothing that I would like to have. Got a hold of Devourer Teeth, don't cast them away, bring 10 sets to the Witcher's Hut for a reward paid out in a pure gold. Devourer. Hmm. Which one is that? Okay. Giant Centipede. Only buyer of Kittiness giant centipede carapaces come to the elven camp by the lake. Be not afraid, 
For carapaces, earn a decent sum, no doubt about it. Elven Craftsman. They say wyvern eggs are delicious and nutritious. I want to taste them. We'll pay for three eggs. Nice. I have six. We'll buy basilisk hides, well preserved ones only. Good money offered for three hides. Collect your payment at the inn, Julian. Let it be known far and wide that the chief of murky waters promises to reward anyone who delivers five sets of fangs of the dangerous beasts known as Alps. And I have nine of them. Traveller? Greetings. If you're weary, rest. If you wish food or drink, call my daughter. I will. Make yourself at home. Thanks. May I help you? I have questions. Ask, Traveller. What's special about this settlement? Murky waters. We live in seclusion. Tobias Hoffman leads us. Know, too, that our ancestors once inhabited the underwater city. The underwater city? Lake waters engulfed the underwater city. Some say the gods were angered by debauchery. Now the Vodianoi inhabit the city. Did I sense pride? We glory in our ancient heritage, just as we take pride in our prize-winning cow. As for our ancestors' bad habits, much has changed since then. Prize-winning cow. She's in the corral between the houses. Our pride and joy. She's made Murky Waters famous. Thanks for the story. May I help you? Farewell. That smells vile. Greetings, sir. Spacious tavern. What? You think everything's small in the country? I meant no offense. How can I help? I saw your notice. Ah, I need wyvern eggs for my famous omelets. Here are three. Wonderful. Here's your coin. How could... Any interesting news? A wedding, that's what. The mayor's daughter, Elena, is marrying a townsman called Julian. He's staying here at my inn. One thing. Yes? Yes? You look sad. Can I help? Perhaps. Crooked Lou and Bucktooth Bow stole a case of best fire water. Return it, and a useful artifact is yours. What artifact? It was a jest. Not funny. Your question reminded me of some old games. I couldn't resist. Mm. No matter. How can I help? Farewell. Yes? 
So, you like to gamble? I love gambling. Female gamblers are rare. So are interesting men. If you don't care to play, leave. Doesn't look like high stakes. But we can try. Gerald? What happened in Vizima after I disappeared? Who knows? I left soon after you. Though I did hear that you staged quite a bloodbath. Sometimes killing is necessary. Now don't get offended, but has killing people become a pleasure for you? I only kill humans in self-defense. <sighs> like the old days. Try as we might, we just can't seem to cull the population of vicious SOBs. I sense we haven't seen the worst of them yet. Be careful. I will. Gerald? How do you like the country? It's wonderful. Wine, women, song and dice through the night. Dice? I've played. Didn't think the game was popular in the provinces. People here go wild for it. It's incredible. I doubt I'll find anyone who's a challenge. Try me. Some say I'm as good at poker as I am at poetry. I'll believe it when I see it. When I'm done with you, you'll be looking for solace among the elves. One of them's not bad, actually. Now these are okay stakes. That's actually not so bad. Yeah, I'll leave it as it is. You beat Butterbean and Fat Fred. And Gablada. I'm looking for a worthy opponent. Then welcome. They call me The Rock. Sounds ominous. Wanna fight a real champion? What's the wager? 500 orins. I'm in. 
Who wants to get slapped? Okay, that wasn't the easiest one of them. That I can admit. Congratulations, champ. Before you collect your reward, know another fight awaits. Who with? Go to the swamp where you'll meet the nameless one. Choose your reward. I'll take the coin. Five hundred orange is yours. Waste of words. No challenge. Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. Spells for the creation of horrid monsters. No, thank you. The story of the disenchanting of Princess Ada, who had been turned into a striga. Okay. Uh, what else do you have that is not read? Diary of a dice collector. The diary of a passionate dice poker gambler. Okay. Let's have a look. The Witcher then said to King Foltus, Pay me, sire, and I will find your daughter in the dark tomb. I will restore her human form if I can, and if I cannot, then I will not hesitate to kill the princess. The king understood that the king understood this was his only chance and so placed his daughter's fate in the Witcher's hands. The conjurer struggled with the Striga for hours. He warded her off with silver and magic arts. He grappled with the beast and did not let her wound him, but avoided causing serious harm to her as well. Finally, he locked himself in the crypt, sealed the entrance with magic, and waited until dawn. Witchers possesses great knowledge about monsters and know that the rooster's morning call is enough to disenchant the cursed creature. Summer 1263. A dwarven regiment of the Mahakam Volunteer Army is stationed near my estate. The officers spend their days playing dice poker. It seems an interesting game. 
autumn. The dwarves have marched south toward the great battle with Nilfgaard. Dear old Moner gave me a set of dice. I think he meant to compensate me for all the games I lost. Winter 1264. My trip to Vizima was worthwhile. I won a decent sum at the inn. It's a pity the locals don't want to play me anymore. I must learn to lose a bit more often. Spring. The jade dice cost me a fortune, but my collection would be incomplete without them. Every dice and again I manage to convince someone to play around with me, but I feel I must move to the city again. Autumn. What rotten like, I had to sell father's estate. As soon as I start winning again, I'll buy it back. Spring 1265. I was told a band of deserters stalks the area. I doubt the poor village of my hum or my humble abode holds anything they could covet. There is nothing of value around here. Maybe they would fancy a game of dice poker? In his diary, the dice collector claims that dice poker became popular in the village of Murky Waters during the war with Nilfgaard. There should be loads of enthusiasts in the area. Some years ago, Geralt of Rivia came to King Foltest's court in search of work. He obtained a contract to free the monarch's daughter Ada from a spell which had turned her into a striga, or to kill her if all else failed. The witcher managed to free the girl from the spell and discovered that one of the co courtiers had been responsible for the curse. Princess Ada was born of an incestuous union and came into this world as a striga. This was the consequence of a curse b cast by a jealous courtier who had loved her mother. For several years the striga roamed old Vizima, stalking and devouring the unwary. Until I arrived, no one had been able to kill her or lift the curse. Ada did not fully regain her personality, however, and there is still danger of a relapse. That's why the princess wears amulets and participates in rituals designed to ward off the curse. Get Geralt? I've taken Beringer's job. Decided to handle this problem myself. Listen, I'm in the middle of planning my wedding. You have no idea how much time it takes. Come back later. An agreement with the Vodianoi is possible. Think so. That is the will of the Lady of the Lake. Care to take issue? No, Witcher. I'm no fool. In that case, I'll need something that symbolizes your devotion to her and your desire to achieve peace with the Vodianoi. Of course. What shall I give you? The alabaster figure depicting a young Vodianoi capturing a water elemental. Here it is. It would have fetched a fine price in Vizima, but peace is more important. We shall speak later. We shall speak later. Can I help you? So I can return to the village. To close the contract like immediately or I can wander a bit because I'm sure I will return to the village right right
interesting. This body has been here long, but something keeps the bones from disintegrating. Это штука ятик. Greetings, sir. Never mind the sir. I'm Geralt. Tis a true honor. Geralt. How are you with the bow? Best in the village. I can hit an apple at 50 paces. Great. Yes? Don't you want to be a builder like your father? Not really. When my father refurbished our hut, the doors wouldn't close. The stairs are such that even the cat fears them, and when it rains... I see. Besides... I prefer to use my bow. One day, I'll enter a tournament in Vizima. Good luck. Yes? Farewell. Greetings. You'll not get any further. The bridge is destroyed. It doesn't look uncrossable. Well, there's just forests and meadows over there. Thanks for the warning. Need a witcher? You're a witcher? Yes. Sir? Need a witcher? My life's work stands at the edge of oblivion. You alone can help. What's the problem? I had a dream. The river ghosts begged me for assistance. Me, a humble servant of the Lady of the Lake. A lifetime's chance to show my devotion. Mm, sure. The old bridge I tended fell into ruin, yet the ghosts remained attached to it. They asked me to restore it to order. How can I help? What my son and I erect in daytime is destroyed each night. I'll wager it's damnable Griggs. My help will cost you. Do you wish 400 orans, or a book about spectres and the King of the Wild Hunt? Or you can have my son's help during dangerous excursions. He's an excellent archer. Let's trade. Visit the old wench in the village. Beware, she's a witch, but she may know some means of driving off Griggs. All right. Okay. Santa? Oh, it's probably for these guys, right? Yeah, okay.
So I suggest us to close the contract with uh, the local uh, head, which I, whose name I completely forgot. That is the chief. And to close then an episode after that, the bias. Beastie Beta? I'm here about the notice. What do you have for me? Five Alp teeth, as stated. How vile! Here's the gold I promised. No, well, that was a nice introductory. Uh, that was a nice introductory episode to this uh, area. Uh, next on our list will probably be the fields. Uh, we definitely have some, some kind of ghosts to hunt, to collect the dust. Uh, apparently we are also hiding, hunting a giant bugs, centipedes. So, uh, gonna be an interesting run, I guess. Uh, in any case, thank you for keeping me company. I hope you liked the, the episode. In such a case, please uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, or otherwise let me know in the comments what I can improve for you. And I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day.